Taylor. Today is the day we both have been waiting for. Also, this is the day I've been dreaming about all my life. Steven, we finally made it to our big day. When we first met in Student Union, who would have thought us becoming friends that day would turn into us staying here today to become husband and wife? Our last six years together so far has been the best years of my life. You are the gift that I have been praying for all these years. In Proverbs 18.22, a man's greatest treasure is his wife. She is a gift from the Lord. You complete me in so many ways, and I am the luckiest man ever to have you by my side. <laughs> Stephen's lucky. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yep, very beautiful. Worth the money. <laughs> Worth the money, yep, for sure. Let us build a home, a life, and a beautiful family with the love and faith we have for each other. You are my person, my inspiration, my love, and my everything, and I cannot wait to spend a lifetime loving you. I promise to never control you. I will only empower you. I will never discourage you. I will only cheer for you, and never in a lifetime will I ever leave you. I will always stand by you and never be ashamed of you. And in this life come together, I know there will be many obstacles ahead of us, but know there is no one I'd rather walk through them with than you. Love you always and forever, Stephen. First of all, I want to welcome everyone, and what a great day this is. Such a happy day for everyone here, especially for Stephen and Taylor. Dear friends, we are gathered here in the presence of God to unite Stephen and Taylor in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord and Savior declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home and the two shall become one. Who gives this bride to be married? Her mother and I. The worth and purity of love is best described in the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. 
It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Uh, Stephen and Taylor, by sharing your vows and exchanging rings here today, you both have decided to share the rest of your life together. You're no longer two separate people, but one couple together. Uh, by my authority, the authority of God, I now pronounce you man and wife. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. I've had the pleasure over the years in really getting to know Stephen, not just calling him a friend, but calling him a brother because I've learned, listened, and shared in his struggles and all of his accomplishments. Observing both of you over the years has really given me a chance to see how much you both love each other. I see it every time Stephen looks at you, and I see it every time you look at Stephen. And I am confident that God brought both of you together. It has been a pleasure being around both of you, and I'm looking forward for that to continue as we grow in this life. I can't say this from experience because I'm not married, but I've observed and seen enough marriages to know it's not an easy thing. It takes commitment, it takes sacrifice, and it takes love. Taylor, you have been by my side through it all, the good and the bad. You've guided me through tough times and exciting times. You've been there for me through all the new experiences and life changes. Not many people can say that they are still best friends with their elementary school friends. But I brag about our friendship all the time. Now, Stephen, I watched you care and love Taylor with your whole heart. I've seen a change in her after meeting you. She's happy. She's in love. You have an amazing woman in front of you, and you chose the perfect one to marry. and she took him on a side-by-side -side ride to show him around and Taylor got him stuck in the mud and they had to walk all the way through, back through the mud to the house. But anyway, I love you too both very much and I wish you all the best, especially you, Stephen, because we all know you have your hands full. <laughs> I have been and will continue praying for you both. I have had the pleasure of sharing the gospel and going through the Bible with both of you. And I want you to remember the closer you grow towards God, the closer you're going to grow towards one another. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your lives. 